An event billed as a haunted hayride turned into a real-life horror when a teenager was run over and critically injured. News.com has learned the Occupational Safety and Health Administration is investigating what happened at Seven Cedars Farm in Rhode Island. The hayride was arranged to have scare actors along the route as tractor trailers rolled by. One actor, a 14-year-old girl, was caught under a trailer being towed by a tractor and was critically hurt on Saturday, October 28, authorities say. There were about 30 people on the hayride. It was traumatic for everybody, Smithfield Deputy Fire Chief Stephen Quattrini told WPRI-TV. Believe it or not, most of those people helped the driver lift the trailer off of the young lady. The high school student was rushed to a hospital with fractured bones and internal injuries. In response, Seven Cedars Farm closed the haunted hayride for the season. It was open on weekends during October, although bad weather kept it closed on two nights. There was no way we could, have, carried on after that, the farm explained in a Facebook statement. We are absolutely devastated by this incident, the farm's Facebook post added. It's unfortunate that our season had to end like this. The hayride operated under local permits. Quattrini said there are safety rules to follow. Right now, it seems like it was a freak accident, he said. Police reports show a similar case occurred at Seven Cedars Farm in 2016. A teenager slipped to the ground and was run over by trailer wheels. A similar haunted hayride also in New England ended with five minor injuries earlier in October. According to WBZ-TV, the riders were hurt in Athol, Massachusetts on Friday, October 13 when a tractor went out of control. A Lions Club which produced the hayride explained there was a mechanical failure. Death struck a haunted hayride in western Pennsylvania in September 2021. But that became a murder case, which remains unsolved. CNN reported at the time that an argument among a group of teenagers led to gunfire in North Versailles. Stephen Eason, 15, was killed while another teen was critically injured. I'm used to seeing my son every day. So, two years without seeing seems like forever, Eason's mother, Chantel Pizarro, told KDKA-TV this past September. Pizarro added that it's hard to keep her son's name on people's minds when no one has been charged. It hurts more when authorities tell her that witnesses to the killing are refusing to cooperate. But she hosts community days in Eason's honor from time to time. Pritzker Law reports hayrides nationwide resulted in 22 deaths and 167 injuries between 2000 to 2019.